the biblical text is not compatible with the standard, uh, the conventional paradigm. Uh, you cannot, you can't put the two together. My research is showing that this is actually a historical narrative means that they, they can't do it. It's, it's not poetry. It's, it's not, it's not um, statistically admissible. I counted the number of a particular verb type called a viactol. It forms the backbone of Hebrew narrative, okay? And so I counted the number in uh, all the passages of the Hebrew Old Testament, and we showed statistically that as you moved from poetry to narrative, that the number of viactols went way up to like above 50%. And the other direction, it was down 4% or something like that. And then my question is, could you use this uh, in some way to predict, based upon the number of viatols, whether a passage was poetry or narrative? And as a result, looking just at Genesis 1, 1 through 2, 3, the probability that it is narrative is between 0.999942 and 0.999987. So that's means it is, that's narrative. And then once you realize that the biblical narrators also believed it was history uh, and presented it as history, and then we believe as Mayor Sternberg, who's Jewish, recognizes that we believe in inspiration. So if the authors thought it was historical, then as interpreters, we must believe it's historical.